Hey folks, this is Jeff with SimSamurai.net. I wanted to make a quick little tutorial video about making what I call a drilling template. Um, it's really handy for drilling 2x4s or even 2x2s. Um, and if you don't already know it, a 2x4 two, two is actually 3.5 inches by 1.5 inches and a 2x2 two two stick uh, lumber would commonly be 1.5 by 1.5 inches. Um, but a drill template is really handy and I make mine out of aluminum. Um, just like one eighth inch aluminum that you can buy at Home Depot. And how this comes in handy is once it's drilled and made, you will use this as a guide for positioning your screw holes for screwing together wall frame members of either the HX1 Habu or the CS1 Stallion, um, or any other SIM cockpit that I have in the arsenal for that matter. Um, so making a drill template or a drill guide can be a very, very handy thing to have. Um, basically what you want to start with is just pick up a piece of flat bar aluminum uh, one and a half inches it usually comes in like a 36 inch length if you can get it in a 12 inch length or smaller that's fine you really only need to make one template or even two if you want to make one for your two by two framing lumber um, so I had some extra aluminum actually and so what I did is I cut off a piece uh, one and a half inch wide by three and a half inches long for my blank um, and then I uh, made a straight line down the center of it at three quarter inches in from each side and then another line uh, or a little, little hash mark rather at three quarter inches in from each end edge and so that will give me the points of where I want to drill two holes which I will do now on my drill press and if you don't have a drill press this is a great thing to have for sim cockpit building um, I bought this one at Harbor Freight Tools um, I think it costs 50 bucks it's got variable speeds uh, you know you can adjust this belt, belt up here at the top uh, for different rotational speeds for whether you're drilling through wood or metal or and, and also different uh, sizes and diameters of the drill bit you use. So this is just a very, very handy tool to have. I use it all the time. It's got an adjustable base on it and then I just use some scrap plywood pieces uh, to put on top of it as I need to adjust it. So the whole size you want to make for using standard drywall screws, which is what you're going to use for constructing your sim cockpits, uh, at least that's what I use most commonly, it's just uh, coarse wood drywall screws anywhere from an inch long up to three inches long. Um, but all those typically have a diameter, um, including the thread, of at least one eighth inch, maybe a thirty second over that. But for demonstration purposes, we're going to drill a hole that's just one eighth inch in diameter. You want to get your drill bit about a half an inch away from your material, preferably. Raise that up, lock it in, and there we go. And then again, you just want to make sure you've position your hash marks correctly. Looks like I rubbed one of them off, so I'm just going to drill one for now, and then one in the center. I usually drill three. Um, when, you're, when you're using this on a 2x4, you will actually only use the two on the outside, but on some occasions, if you added a third uh, screw somewhere, then you might use that. And of course, I need to make sure my drill press is plugged in. Sometimes it's not. You just want to slowly plunge through the material, make sure you, know, you tap it just once lightly to make sure you're in your center mark. And then make the plunge slowly. Just let the drill do the work, don't force it. There it is, there's one hole made. I'm looking for where that other one is. Tap it lightly, there it is, that's what I want right there. done. And so I need to do another one on the other side, but I just need to remark it. But anyway, as you can see, this is what you come out with. Um, and then you can use this for marking with a pencil or a Sharpie marker. So on your 2x4, you know, where you know that you're going to have an intersecting 2x4, you will just mark that, um, color the hole in with the pencil. And of course, you know, you could actually use your drill and use this holding it steady in place as you uh, drill down into your material. Um, of course, you know, you can always mark it with this first and then come back on your drill press and drill the actual piece really straight and make a really nice clean hole with your actual drill press. Um, so that's about it for making uh, drilling templates. Uh, really easy to do, really handy thing to have in your shop. And, uh, you know, once you've made one, it'll last a long time before you have to make another one. 
Um, so it's just uh, something great to have. Works perfect for you know setting up where you need to uh, position your two by fours and make holes for connection points. So that's it. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in another episode. Jeff from SimSamurai.net. Have a good day.